Hello planners and transport nerds and welcome back to Talking Planning. I'm just currently sitting at Sangate Station. Yes, I got that right. I always confuse it with Shawncliffe. And I was hoping to take you on a ride on something like a 311 or a 312. I was hoping to take you for a ride on board this little BCI MIDI, which is perfectly suited to tight back streets, or this classic old 1999 Mercedes. But unfortunately, neither of those rocked up, so we're going to have a little bit of a think about where we go from here. Instead of waiting for the bus which I ended up catching, I really should have caught this old Scania which was really cool, or this Scania tag which came through whilst I was having breakfast at the local cafe. The fact that I just saw that bus going past whilst waiting to get breakfast in this cafe means I probably won't be catching that one either, but we'll work something else out from here. Another one of those MAN diesels is just coming around the corner now, so I'll probably jump on board that bus. So we ended up catching the same bus that I rejected the first time round, but there's good reason to do it, so let's go enjoy the ride on board. like a duck and talks like a duck and acts like a duck. It's a duck, right? Wrong. You see, the same analogy applies to this bus. It looks like a Brisbane transport bus. It sounds like a Brisbane transport bus. It's got a Brisbane transport interior and it even once operated for Brisbane transport. But it doesn't anymore because it's now operated by Hornybrook Transport Management. So it's used usually on the 326 and 327, but today it's on a 312. So come and check out this unusual combination as we travel a bit around Brighton and Sangate Moor. One of the reasons I like catching buses like the 311 and 312 is they wind through a lot of these tight little streets. It makes them quite interesting and from a driver's perspective a bit of a challenge because you have to dodge parked cars sometimes on both sides of the street and that's why it's often that you'll see the little bus like that little BCI I showed you earlier running the service because it's a little bit easier to manoeuvre around busy streets with lots of cars down the side. So getting a full-size bus like this MAN can be a little bit awkward. And from a capacity perspective, I wouldn't say it's necessary. There are only four or five people on board this bus at any time whilst I was on the journey. If you've been around the Brisbane transport scene for a while, you might remember when the buses that used to operate the 311 and 312 were actually these little MAN minis, but that's been a little while. So if you've been wondering where they've actually got to, I'll show you right now. 
they actually ended up moving a couple of them to red and white bus service and you'll see them around on rail buses every so often, which is pretty neat. Thank you so, so much for joining me today on Talking Planning and I hope you enjoyed today's review of a Hornybrook Transit Management MAN City Bus. So I'll see you next time.